in this video we are going to see a methodology where how to apply a mesh analysis in a circuit where dependent source is present along with a independent source let's consider the circuit with a combination of independent and dependent sources let's consider a current controlled voltage source randomly give the values and let's consider we have to get a current flowing through 20 ohm using mesh analysis the thing is that over here 10 i1 is a voltage source if you see the symbol it's having a polarity so it's a voltage source but its value is 10 i1 so it depends upon the current i1 so you call this as current control voltage source the thing is that somewhere in the circuit we should have this current i1 so beside this 10 i1 there has to be one more information given and that is i1 so let's consider this is that i1 so this will be a complete circuit where dependent source is given and it is also given on which value this source depends that is i1 so in this case how to apply kirchhoff's voltage law we will see now we need to stick to our basics and the basics are whenever I find a mesh I will always pass the current. So I am getting two meshes. This time I will call the current as Ix and I1 just to distinguish from their notation and R notation. So based on the current wherever it is flowing through a register it will develop the voltage so I will mark that voltage polarity plus minus over here it is plus minus it's a source already polarity is given for this i y plus minus plus minus is already given for sources for this register plus minus so the way we have applied for the independent source similar manner we have done for the dependent sources also so now over here ix and iy are the variables which we have introduced and i1 is their variable so in all there are three variables but the meshes are only two so thing is that we need to reduce one variable and we have to always reduce variable given by them so thing is that somewhere wherever i will find a i1 i need to replace that with ix or iy depending upon the circuit condition so let's see how we are going to do this so what we'll do we'll apply kvl to mesh one so let's start from this point so from here to here plus minus minus five Remember, we have to introduce R variable only as far as possible. So instead of writing plus minus, that is a minus phi i1, I will write it is minus phi ix because ix is R variable. Plus minus, minus 10 ix, minus plus, plus 10 i y, plus minus, it's a voltage source. So it's a minus 10 i1 as it is. And you have to close the loop through this 10 volt, which is minus plus. So plus 10 equal to 0. So what I have done, 
simply I have applied KVL to mesh 1. But the problem over here is I should get IX and IY only, but here I'm getting this and I1 as a third variable which I need to replace, and that replacement is done with the help of substitution equation. Meaning, I need to establish a relationship between I1 and Ix and Iy. So, if you see carefully, Ix is the current flowing through this 5 ohm, which is a mesh 1 current, and same I1 is the current flowing through 5 ohm given by them. So, I can say over here, you replace I1 by Ix. Remember, substitution equation we will get by seeing and analyzing the circuit condition carefully. So what I'll do, wherever there is the I1, I will replace it with a Ix. So in the end, I will get minus 5Ix, minus 10Ix, plus 10Iy, minus 10Ix, plus 10, equal to 0. So after simplification of this equation, I will get a new equation which I can treat as a final equation for solving minus 25ix plus 10iy equal to minus 10 as a equation number 1. And this equation is free from i1 and is having only two variables ix and iy which are given by v us only now similarly i can go for a mesh two so if i apply kvl to mesh two what i will get here plus minus let's start from here so quickly i'll write minus 20 iy plus minus is minus 20 i'll come over here minus plus it's a plus n i1 a voltage source plus minus minus 10 i y plus 10 i x equal to zero so once again there is a problem with this third variable which we have decided now wherever there is a i1 i have to replace by i x so if i do that what I will get the equation as minus 20 iy minus 20 plus 10 ix minus 10 iy plus 10 ix equal to 0. So, simplification of this will give you 10 ix, 10 ix become 20 ix minus 20 iy minus 10 iy becomes minus 30 iy here minus 20 on this side will go and become plus 20 equation number two so thing is that in the original circuit we were having the three variables but after substituting one variable in terms of other i can get only two equations two unknowns can be solved and get the value of ix and iy okay and iy is nothing but a current flowing through 20 ohm so this part you can solve and verify the answer iy because in subsequent videos we are going to see problems where more one or more dependent sources are present and there we will solve the problems till the last answer okay so in this video we have just restricted ourselves up to the methodology where dependent source is present how to reduce the number of variables and get the answer thank you